Hello, everyone, and welcome to the weekly Signature Experience meeting. Uh, I am your host, Bob Killen, one of the co-chairs. And uh, just to remind folks that these meetings are recorded and we abide by the uh, CNCF code of conduct, which can essentially boil down to please be excellent to each other. Uh, today, uh, we're going to try and blitz through um, most of our sort of like stand-up-ish uh, type things and then get right into uh, visiting our sort of cycle planning for 1.20. Um, we've, we've had to put this off a little bit just because other things have uh, come up or people haven't been available. Uh, and we'll, we'll see what we can get through today. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, I completely overlooked something. Um, is there any new contributors on the line that might be introduced or interested in introducing themselves? If not, no big deal. We can uh, also revisit it later. Okay, uh, we'll kick right over to events. Uh, George had to step out at the last minute. Um, I don't know of any updates regarding uh, office hours or the community meetings. Um, does anyone happen to have an update on either of those? Okay. Uh, contributor summits, uh, we sent a small survey off to the leads list uh, just to see if anyone is actually interested in, in potentially doing one. Uh, and that will sort of drive our decision uh, later if we want to do something. If we do, it will probably be much smaller uh, than a you know regular contributor summit initiative. Uh, is anyone on the line to give a steering committee election update by chance? Okay. Uh, uh, sorry. Maybe no worries. Responding. Um, the um, yeah, uh, we're at 270 voters as of today. Um, we've got a few days left to vote. Um, the um, and and that's about it. Out of curiosity, uh, how many people have been uh, needing to get a new uh, email sent? A new ballot set, I'm sorry. Uh, 20 something. Um, I okay. have to look for an exact count. Um, yeah, 20 something. The, um, unfortunately, I think that's because a lot of people just haven't actually checked. Um, the, um, I, I fully expect to get some requests for replacement ballots too late. Yeah. Uh, the, I've um, already seen some. Yeah. Um, the, um, <laughs> On a somewhat sour note, um, the um, our plans to use Community Bridge to get an intern to build this new voting app are not going to work out um, because oh. Community Bridge, the Community Bridge application is broken, and we were unable to get any valid interns applying. Um, That's weird. Uh, Ihor, do you have any details on that? So I'm the conversation. So. Huh? Uh, what was the question? I missed the conversation. I'm sorry. Oh, um, there was an issue with the community bridge and the um, voting app rewrite. Uh, yeah, just uh, message Josh to clarify all the details because I'm not sure what, what is the issue here exactly. Uh, we had some issues with the workflow in Community Bridge, but it would be great if we'll, uh, if we'll discuss with Josh what, what exact issues did we have with, with this process. Um, are there any other uh, event 
type things people want to talk about, or should we kick on to the next section? Okay, we'll go right into the next section with uh, mentoring. Uh, meet our contributors. Let's see, I don't think Paris is on the line. So I think we'll just skip over that one for now. Um, Playground, just to see outreachy. Uh, we sort of just touched on the, the outreachy thing briefly, at least for uh, the election app. Are there any other updates there, Ihor? Okay, I think we'll just move on to that to the next thing. Uh, new contributor workshop. Uh, let's see, I think Allison, uh, do you want to take this one? Oh, hello. Um, so, um, new contributor workshop. So, the current status of the new contributor workshop is that everyone is signed up like this. Well, in terms of uh, how it's voting. That we've got most, if not all, of the different segments we're planning to record. Uh, they've been all signed up for. Um, now we need to set a deadline in terms of when we should have things recorded by. Um, yeah. yeah uh we touched on it briefly at the last mentoring meeting. Um, Josh, do you remember what we were talking about deadline-wise? Um, that, yeah, that we wanted to have um, at least everything but the recording um, by the end of the month, um, October that is. Um, uh, you know, so for people who are revising slides, et cetera, to, to at least have that by the end of October. Um, the goal is still to have recordings of most of the segments and to have a page up before KubeCon November. Cool. So I submitted a, 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 a segment idea um, on that doodle, Bob, that you sent out there yesterday, I think it was. I'm just wondering, just checking in to see if you got it. Uh, was that on the the survey for the leads list and the contributors? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I did see the form submission. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Um, Okay, is there any other mentoring topics or should we kick on to uh, kick over to community management? Okay, uh, need to know chairs list. I think uh, most times we start talking about there's the issue triage and the survey stuff and a few other like little notes, but does anyone have any other things they want to possibly send out to the leads? Okay. Uh, with that, we'll kick over to APAC coordinator update, uh, Nikita. Yeah, um, so Yang was away for the last few months because he was busy at his day shop, but he is back now, so yeah, on that. Uh, and at the last meeting, we decided to finally uh, decide some deadlines for the blog post series. Uh, so we, we are targeting October 8th for collecting responses. We're reaching out to uh, Kubernetes contributors in uh, APAC regions, and uh, we are gonna collect, we're targeting October 8th for collecting all the responses and then uh, finally publishing the series by November 15th and uh, some more milestones are added in the meeting notes. That's kind of it. Cool. Uh, 
cool. Uh, does anyone have any other comments for uh, APAC coordinator? Okay, moving right along. Uh, Dev stats. So short update from my side. So Sergey proposed a new reporting. Um, so at the moment, Nikita and but another Nikita are supporting him to reshape the document um, and then also reach out to the six and then we will give an update how everybody is responding and so on. Oh, awesome. I will have to look at this. Yeah, so there's a thread in the channel where we talked about the template for reaching out to the chairs and leads with a compelling message. And so I think that's what Jenny is working off of with Sergey, right? Yeah, like yeah, you're exactly. basically iterating on that. Um, exactly. And I gave them some leads for, like, no pun intended, but actual leads who might be most receptive to this. If you also have folks in mind for them to talk to, these would be people who you think are going to be receptive and interested in, um, in interacting around the data points that they would like to access for their SIG, for their for their workflow and um, SIG health. Uh, please share that information with Jenny and Sergey and Nikita. Um, you know, I've only been around for a few months. Some of you have been around a lot longer. You have longer relationships built with those folks. So um, this might be our breakthrough moment here. <laughs> <laughs> One can hope. <laughs> Yeah, so, so when it's actually in a better state, I will post it in the channel and then I can also use a thread for getting some inspiration regarding the six. Mm -hmm. um, and thanks to the three of you for all of your efforts. This is really great. It, uh, we've really turned this whole dev stats data issue into a team effort. So well done. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we've had several people involved here um, shaping the user personas into something actionable. So. Plus, I get uh, to know some people, which is nice, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, and for action items, I still need to follow up. I don't know if I can't remember if Bob was in, at the meeting. It was September 9th. But basically, you and Celeste uh, might be able to help us understand how to embed charts on the website. Okay. Like, so if we were pulling specific charts from DevStats and inserting them into the contributor website, that you might know how to make that happen from a technical perspective. Yep. Uh, as as far as I know, it's embedding an iframe, uh, but we'll just have to look up um, if Grafana can actually do that well. Yeah. Okay. Should I file some issue or do anything to trigger? Uh, if you want to uh, file an issue, tag me and Celeste on it, and we can we can look into it. Okay. Thank you. Honestly, that's probably the, the way to get it on, on my radar. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, so I'll do that after the meeting. Okay. And then I don't think we have Nicholas and Josh here today, do we? Neither here. Okay. I'll follow up with them to uh, work on the contributor persona. So this would be basically, you know, anybody who's participating, contributing code, what data would they like to see? And same with uh, Paris for Steerco. We might have covered most of that through the chairs and leads work that Jenny, Sergey, and Nikita are doing. So I would just think it might be a slightly expanded version of that persona. And then finally, there was this note that Laura might be a good person for us to add a small company's element to the existing open source program manager persona. So basically, what would that person want to see in terms of data? What would they want to have readily accessible? I don't know, Laura, who is, can someone offline, we can yep. make that connection? And then I will reach out to Laura. Okay. I think that's it. Does anybody have any questions? Joel is fascinated by this. Um, yes. Um, Join our party. So. <laughs> I, I I will dive back in. I got pulled into some other stuff, and I, I feel yeah. bad because I made some commitments and then uh, ghosted pretty effectively, but I'll come back and follow in. All right. Thank you so much. It's all good. Uh, with that, uh, that takes us to marketing. 
I don't see Matt here. Um, I know they're revisiting the multi-channel communications workflow plan and sort of just uh, continuing the ongoing business at the moment. Oh, excuse me. Uh, let's see, and that takes us over to contributor documentation, uh, contributor guide. Rin has been going through and uh, updating each page as part of the Season of Docs um, program. Uh, and this is just applying a style guide to give everything a consistent tone and voice. Uh, outside of that, there isn't too many updates uh, there. Um, that, should we kick it over to a uh, developer guide? Um, we haven't made any uh, updates to the developer guide since the last pull request got integrated, I don't think. But um, I do know that the end-to-end uh, -end testing part of the developer guide is probably going to need some more updates really soon since the cube test 2 stuff is still kind of like congealing. Um, and I don't know anything about, I guess what I need to do is go talk to some SIG testing people and figure out what their plans are for the next um, release to see what would need to be uh, updated. So I will work on that. Awesome. Um, uh, honestly, the, the testing docs are probably the most in-demand, in-need thing, especially after like all the issues that uh, happened with the 119 release and testing. So like oh, updating. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm like aware it, of those issues. <laughs> yeah. uh, there were a lot of flake and testing issues that occurred during the later half of the 119 release. So uh -huh. the 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 better documentation we can uh, write, or even you know just any documentation <laughs> when it comes uh -huh. to to testing and best practices, will probably have a very large impact. So that's okay. Th th those are big wins there. All right. I'll take a look. It. Yeah. That the. The testing stuff is really fascinating. And um, I mean, Cube Test 2, it, it looks like they're using it now, um, but it's not even done. So that seemed, it, so I'll, I'll, I'll look and see what I can do. Okay. There was a, a very good uh, workshop in performance meeting by um, Jordan Digger, specifically about chasing flags. And I think that would actually make a very nice flight killing documentation. I'll drop you a link um, as soon as I can find it. Then that would be, okay. that, that would, yeah. Thank you. Uh, that's a, a very good document to make. Awesome, thank you. I Actually, I remember Jordan mentioning it uh, at one point, um, but I, I don't know how uh, widespread, uh, you know, it was uh, one thing with like YouTube videos uh, especially if they don't have like many comments on them, they aren't super discoverable. That's probably like Docs makes it a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just part of part of conformance meeting. So I'll chase up that specific one for you, and then I'll drop you a link, and then you can like, work up a document with that. So it okay. Will be a popular one. That sounds good. Yeah. Uh, uh, Eddie is pa uh, people are pasting some links in. Ah, even updated 12 days ago. That's awesome. Hey, all right. I am going to paste that link right in the notes. Good idea. OK, cool. I'll take a look at that and see um, if any of that can be integrated into the documentation and what we can do with that. Okay. Uh, other little win is the blog post went live. Uh, you know, I'm, this week on Monday. Uh, Famous regarding now. Your, yep. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, I hope yeah. that it gets. Uh, I, I hope that it gets a lot of traffic. <laughs> yep. Then, yeah, the it's uh, cross post on Kubernetes.io will will go out tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> this might be just before we move off the topic. This might not be the right place. So maybe. Bob, you can just provide guidance as to where, but um, it'd be interesting to kind of look at how to improve the workflow of how changes trigger documentation changes so you don't get so far behind in the future on that. 
that's a non-trivial question, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we can we we can definitely chat a little bit about that. I've I've talked to a few other uh, sort of key maintainers on uh, the project about that too in the past. So that's something we can definitely sync on. Great, thanks, Bob. Um, contributor site outside of the blog post, there isn't too much going on there at the moment. Um, its goals are still the same. We want to surface more stuff there. Uh, one actually key thing is that uh, looking at the metrics, people have definitely been using the release page. So if you go to kates.dev slash release, uh, that, is, that is getting significant traffic, which is, which is nice. Uh, and okay, that takes us to GitHub management. Uh, Nikita, do you want to take this one? Um, why don't you take the first one? At last one, uh, so the Cube AWS repo was the last incubator. Uh, that was the last GitHub repo in the Kubernetes incubator org. So that got archived and incubator is also being rolled out as we speak. Um, so that will be done today, finally, after, I don't know, two years or something. Uh, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, and yeah, why, why did you take the first two points? Because I know you've been working on those. Okay. Uh, big thing is later today, the new issue triage workflow, not just issue triage, triage workflow will be rolling out to Kubernetes Kubernetes. Uh, you might have seen the uh, email to Kdev about that. Essentially, all new issues and PRs will have a needs triage label. This is uh, intended to be used by SIGs for their issue triage processes. Uh, it does not block PRs being merged. That's one of the, the big things to remember. Um, I do expect us to probably wind up doing a little bit more outreach and how to use that label properly. Um, I know some groups are already interested in integrating it with their, um, oh, I'm totally blanking on the name name of the tool, triage party, there we go, <laughs> on integrating it with, with a triage party. Um, can you so, keep me in the loop on that? Because I've also been collecting data around which SIGs are currently doing any sort of triage and meeting with them uh, one by one when they are interested to go over that and help them sort out their triage process. Definitely. So I think together we can really make, make Yay, movement. Yay, triage. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, other uh, update, uh, GitHub related update, is that at this point in time, we are not going to be renaming our default branch in GitHub uh, from master domain just at this point in time. Um, after syncing with GitHub and discussing a little bit further, uh, until we can actually fully test it, we just don't want to do it at this point. Um, there's some other complications, like we'd also have to update our, uh, our whatchamacallit, um, essentially our, our repo template uh, that all the repos that we generate uh, are based off of. Um, so we will we'll be updating in that link thread there. Okay. No. Uh, does anyone else have any other comments regarding uh, GitHub management? Okay, cool. I know there's no updates from Slack Infra. Um, a couple quick open items. We'll see this uh, a little bit more uh, not just Zoom, but like all our community management tools. Um, we're going to be going through and auditing who has access. Are they still active? Or do they still want to be an admin in there? Um, for the the past uh, couple of months, it's sort of just fallen on to a couple of us to handle a lot of that stuff. Um, so we want to just you know sync back up, see if people are still interested, or potentially get more people uh, involved in those roles. Um, 
So this, this is jumping back. Uh, Eddie, I just saw your link in chat. What is this? Uh... I don't know where I saw this, but it was in one of our channels. And it was a really nice aggregation of all the binaries for different architectures. I think I actually saw this get migrated as a, pro uh, a project to C uh, SIG release. Yeah, it's a SIG release, release engineering project repo. Okay. Um, but we can we can probably update uh, the contributor guide or uh, one of those uh, with those resources too. Okay. Um, that sort of brings us to the the end of the open mic discussion items that were tossed on there. Uh, before we potentially start diving into boards and issues, uh, are there any other items that people want to discuss? Oh, actually, there is one thing that I completely forgot about that should probably be mentioned is the GitHub uh, recognition beta that we're going to be participating in. Uh, there is an issue in K community. I can dump it. Uh, essentially, uh, GitHub is enabling a feature where you can give someone so, uh, like uh, kudos or toasts. Uh, they like to use uh, sparkles internally. Um, and what this does is like you you type you know slash kudos for us it should be slash shout out. And then, like, uh, thanks for you know, you know, Nikita for always offering like you know awesome reviews, and then that will bubble up in her like user hover card, uh, and also be viewable at the repo level, uh, with the eventual intention uh, of being able to aggregate them aggregate them up to the org, uh, as well as um, having them be visible on the user profile. Uh, before that, there needs to be a lot more moderation and other things sorted out. Uh, but we'd still like to, you know, just sort of give it a go and, and see how it works out. Right now, we are targeting three repos to enable us on, and that's uh, KK, uh, KTest Infra, and K Community. If there are other repos that are interested in it, uh, we'll be sending out like an email to uh, KDev to see if more people are interested in opting in. Uh, but for now, that's sort of our, our goal with it. Now, are there any other open items before we start diving into boards? <laughs> OK. Let me share my screen. Oh, that's, uh, uh, I'm gonna have to do this for my other system, one sec. It, it wants to share my entire screen. I can't selectively select a window and I have an ultra wide, so that would be, that would be difficult. Okay, can folks just see that window? Yes. Thank you. So before we actually start taking a look at the boards, 
I just want to take a look at the milestone directly. Um, and even though this doesn't necessarily capture uh, all the items, since some of our projects do span other repos, we did actually do quite a bit in the 119 cycle. So you pop in here, you know, we closed uh, 113 issues and PRs. Uh, there's only 18 left open. Um, so all in all, I think like that's a pretty good win. Um, if we look at like sort of our past history with uh, going through all this stuff. And some of the open items uh, honestly can should probably actually be closed. And what I would actually like to do to start, um, the 120 milestone uh, has been opened. And we can go through each one of these and sort of see if we want to bump them off to the 120 milestone, if we can think we can get them uh, done essentially by the end of the year, or um, you know, putting in the, the backlog and milestone next. Uh, revisiting issue triage page to include workflow automation, kept details, and other ads. I think this was done. Uh, Laura, you got your the the big PR in um, a while ago, updating a lot of this stuff. What yeah, do you think? I guess, we, I guess we have to update it for the new triage materials because yep, I remember we, we had commented. And, or you would comment on a few places. It's kind of hard to believe that it's it's been that long since we talked about, about putting out those those new things. But, yeah, it's OK. Yeah. Um, right, so maybe you and I should uh, just sync tomorrow or Friday and then just create our game plan. OK. Yeah. Uh, it shouldn't be too much for the, the current docs. It's not, not a huge change. It's just fairly no. minimal. Yeah, exactly. But. I will, I will still bump this off into the 120 milestone. Mm -hmm. uh, check permissions on all the mailing lists. I believe this is actually done. Uh, there's, yeah, so the security audit one has been closed down for the most part. Uh, and the only one is the uh, policy working group. Um, and at this point, uh, I, I hate to sort of look over in your direction, Nikita, that is a steering issue because they have not been responding to us at all. Um, yeah, uh, Christoph has been planning to follow up with them. OK. Uh, yeah, in progress. I will still bump this off to 120. And we, were, we were talking about this one earlier today, actually in uh, the enhancements channel, separating proposals and architecture related items from uh, community. Um, I honestly don't know when this one is going to happen. Uh, I think it's mostly dependent now on people not in this group actually auditing the documentation and deciding what gets moved over to uh, the developer guide and what gets migrated over. Um, with that, I'm, Laura, is this something you're looking to drive or should I, I? Maybe again, we tag team on this because okay. I think it's a matter of just bringing it to the SIG architecture meeting, right? And then yep. having them discuss. And so. Getting it on, on their priority list. Yeah, there's another thing that um, is in the queue for that somewhat related. Okay. So I can brief you on that. OK. I will optimistically put this in the 1.20 milestone. Uh, 2019, 20 survey results. Um, 
honestly, I think this is something we just close. Uh, it's a bit too late to actually have a blog post. This might be something we roll into uh, the next, um, since we, we're about to kick off the uh, 2020 annual contributor survey, I think we can probably just roll in the 2019 survey results into that one and do like one blog post. Um, does anyone else have any thoughts on this? I can't remember what the survey contains, if it's about anything workflow related. Like I, I don't remember if I ever looked at it, but if there's anything, we don't have to go over it right now, but if there's anything related to the workflow efforts we're pursuing at the moment, that might be helpful, but like a source material. Yeah, uh, so you can find the survey results in the contributor experience uh, directory and surveys. Uh, it does cover some uh, workflow type things and what's deemed priorities for like, you know, what people find useful. Um, documentation has been number one. Um, but as this is just really focusing at this point on posting the results oh, yeah. and like basically it's making a blog time. post and all that, I think at this point uh, we can just close this issue. Uh, then PR lifecycle stats automation and leadership notifications. Uh, this is sort of an ongoing effort. Um, I'll, Lori, you've you've done some work in this uh, space. I've done some work in this split, this space. A few others have. Um, yeah, I mean, basically, all the dev stats data collection or data personas is pointing to this, and then yeah. triage points to this. Feature health checks point to this. So it's it's a broad. Yeah, it's okay. It's a, it's a broad topic. Yes, with many different angles to it. So I would just mm -hmm. say, like, we just continue. Okay, I'll bump this off to you, 120. Uh, one thing we might want to consider is just sort of, like, going back into this issue and deciding what done actually is, because I don't think yeah. that was ever actually done. Yeah, no, I um, think that's a great idea, that we have goals that are clear, and then we know what we're working toward. Yep. Uh, so that's something, you know, you and I can, can knock out later. Yep. Uh, this is a, a new user token. This has honestly been me and Jason missing each other. <laughs> um. Okay, it looks like this is still in progress, but we are sort of out of the picture, but it's actively being worked on. I'll still bump it over to 1.20. The next two are both uh, regarding, oh, one sec, my screen locked. are both related to uh, getting Splain set up. Uh, we held off on this for a while because Splain has been fairly unreliable. Um, we can probably move forward with it again and sort of see what happens. Uh, we've also sort of been on the side looking at other potential options. So I will I will put these into the 120 milestone and uh, sync with the YouTube and Zoom admins on them. Uh, 
uh, KK-wide issue triage workflow improvements. So the, these are a lot of ideas that were presented a while ago, and some of them are kind of aligning with what we're doing, but some of them are not. And I don't know. Like I feel like we're kind of taking care of this. Yeah, I th I think at this point with the when the PR is merged later today, uh, we can call this one done. Yeah. And see Nikita, the thumbs up. So, as it is technically the 1.20 cycle, I will still move it over to it, but that should be closed fairly soon. Uh, improve process for requesting Zoom YouTube automation. We, we punted this one because Splain was having problems um, and it's sort of lumped in with the other ones. Uh, I will, we do plan on revisiting this stuff, so I will bump it over to 1.20. Uh, this I'm thinking, honestly, we just close. It's sort of been an ongoing thing without, um, much in terms of, you know, there's like checklist items here. Uh, some things that are essentially like out of, like we, we can't necessarily do. Um, we pinged people about them. This goes back to like the policy mailing list things and some of the other areas. So I'm, I'm, I'm in favor of just closing this one for now. Does anyone else have any thoughts? This goes into, this is mostly writing action items for the survey um, and writing the docs around that. I am thinking retitling this and moving it over uh, to the 120 milestone uh, just for updating essentially the procedure docs for surveys. Baseline and expectation comms for chairs. This one is sort of, it's a bit meta. Um, we've been trying to, you know, reach the chairs from multiple different channels um, and get expectations around that. Uh, Taylor actually, is, let's see, is this it? Uh, Taylor made a spreadsheet uh, of all the different leads and where they preferred to be contacted. But I'm not sure if uh, there is any sort of done state with this. What do uh, folks think? Um. I'm meeting with Allison and R so I can check with her and see if we can come to a consensus around our intent state or we could just close it out. Does that work? Okay. That sounds good to me. I will just sort of leave it as is for now. Uh, 
Uh, contributor Bill of Rights, I remember, I remember this coming up a while ago, essentially, I think it was defining the escalation paths. Nikita, I know you and I talked about it a while ago. Yeah, I don't remember where we left it off. Um, why don't we bump it over just to at least see if we can close it? Okay. Or what we can do to close it? Uh, what I'll do is I will just assign both of us to just sort of go back and look. This, I think, has been done. Yes. Um, the only thing is we, we do technically need to uh, update our Zoom guidelines now to include a passcode. But that, that is a separate issue. Uh, oops. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Uh, boxing up the contributor workshop. Uh, this is sort of a meta issue around what we're doing right now with the new contributor workshop as a whole and making it digital. Uh, I don't. I, I do think this is sort of a duplicate of our current uh, new contributor workshop stuff. Um, I think we can close this in favor of the other one, just because that the other one has a sort of more up-to-date state and is where most of the communication is going on. What do, what do folks think on that one? Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, transition, I this one, so this is mostly a, actually a GitHub admin team thing, I believe. I think there's a similar issue open in the Kubernetes or repo as well, maybe? Yeah, because most of, like this stuff has been done. Yep, uh, rename. Yep. Okay, uh, I think we're good here. Uh, this one going to punt to the next milestone and I'm at the uh, baseline expectations. I'm actually just going to go ahead and move over there is what I would like to do. So this closes out the milestone.
boom, done. <laughs> And I actually believe a good chunk, um, so some of these have started to be added to the 120 milestone. One twenty, one twenty, next. So we have we have five minutes left technically in today's meeting. We we did kind of take it up a lot with uh, just getting through our weekly work, uh, just because uh, we missed last week. What I'm thinking at this point is we uh, make it the priority for next week to get through it. Uh, go through milestone next as well as the boards. Uh, one of the other issues that has come up uh, that I want to raise to other people is we should be able to, like other subproject owners, uh, should be able to milestone issues in K community so that they can do their own planning and triage of this stuff. Um, if that is something you are interested in, uh, please ping me and uh, we can get you added to that list. Does that sound like a good plan to fol for folk? I see thumbs up from Nikita. Um, any other comments? Okay, uh, we will call it there then. Thanks all. Uh, I know it's not the, uh, the the most fun part of of uh, attending these meetings, going through the issue backlog, and and you know eventually we'll get to looking at the boards, but that should hopefully be uh, a bit better once we've cleaned up some of the issues. And with that. Uh, we'll call it done, and I will see you all in Slack or at next week's meeting. Thanks, Bob. Yep. Cheers. Later.